Just a few years ago, the fantasy genre was one of the flagships of the Chinese cinema. Fantasy films excelled at the box office, making the industry stronger and more professional. Unfortunately, a series of weak, uninspired and downright unsuccessful projects drove audience away from this genre and made producers wary. Nonetheless, the problematic genre was received with open hands by online streaming platforms. Turned out that audiences didn't really care much about stars in the lead roles. As for the quality of computer graphics, it's hardly a priority for a person who watches films on their TV, tablet or smartphone. All this led to a dramatic shrinking of fantasy film budgets. Although falling back in terms of technical aspects, the fantasy genre has survived and is now in pretty good shape. The legend of enveloped demons is set in a world defined by the opposition of humans and demons. Fighting the demons are the so-called demon slayers, specially trained martial artists whose fighting skills are enhanced by the gloves made of a mythical metal. After the demon slayers had destroyed the lord of demons, humans can finally leave in peace. As time passed and people forgot about the atrocities of the old days, they turned against the demon slayers. The movie follows three former demon slayers whose hopes for a normal life are shattered as they get caught in a crossfire. There are signs indicating that demons are plotting a new attack on humans. However, a local city official refuses to believe that, thinking the old animosity to be over. Instead of fighting the real enemies, he's trying to get rid of the demon slayers. After watching The Legend of Enveloped Demons, you may get a feeling that its plot somewhat lacks logic and clarity. Don't rush to blame translation flaws or mentality gaps. Chinese viewers had difficulties grasping the plotline too. Another thing they didn't like was the parallel with the Japanese anime TV series Attack on Titan and Claymore. This one is debatable though. Thing is, the fantasy genre has a limited range of themes to explore. Asian fantasy plots overlap all the time to the point of becoming a norm. What's more, the legend of enveloped demons has made a smart use of all ideas, both unique and borrowed, to piece together a smooth story. The thing that works to the film's advantage is that it may look like any other Chinese fantasy action film while standing out through little things. For example, the fish demon look a bit ridiculous, but creepy at the same time. As for the three former demon slayers, each of these characters has his own plotline. Here's a curious fact that will interest the true fans of the Hong Kong and Chinese cinema. Did you know that the mentor of the villains was played by the Kung Fu movie star David Chiang? This is Chiang's debut appearance in an online project. Summing up, The Legend of Enveloped Demons is a typical Chinese fantasy film with its strengths and weaknesses. The movie offers a vibrant and dynamic cinematic entertainment, which, however, cannot cover up its superficial and a bit chaotic essence. You won't be bored watching it, but you'll forget about most of it in a week. The only thing that might leave an impression is a couple of visuals and the unlikely death battle soundtrack in the Chinese language during the end credits. Sure.